Hey guys, Dave the NC Picker here. How are you doing? Or NC Flipper? I guess you're on the NC Flipper channel. But yeah, how's it going? I'm having YouTube issues right now. I was trying to get logged into my YouTube and it won't let me. And then I went online and it says that there's an outage at YouTube, which would explain why I can't get in there. I do have some sales today and I do have a couple things to talk to you about, so that's good. I got the quote from my gutters. <laughs> so bad. Oh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but it's not good. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that whole thing. Uh, but yeah, let me go down to the garage because I got my whole like camera thing down there. This is not attached to like, the thing I hold it with. So I'm going to go downstairs into the garage. We can start pulling orders and chat a little bit about what's happening in the reselling world of NC Picker. Okay, anyway, so now I'm in the garage. Uh, okay, so first big thing is look at my shirt. <laughs> I got NC Picker shirt on, and I actually got enough NC Picker shirts to sell them to you folks who want them. So check it out. I mean, it's not infinity. <laughs> it's some, and there's less of some sizes than others. Uh, but I think it's enough for most of the people, or everyone really, who wanted one to get one. I've had a bunch of requests for them, but not that many requests. So we should be okay. For at least a little bit here but i don't know i don't know how quick to sell okay i'm back i have no idea what we were talking about i think the shirts maybe yeah i've got t-shirts guys and uh so my my plan was to like make this design of a t-shirt and then i've got my nc flipper one that i'll do next once these sell out i can't afford to buy like all these different varieties of t-shirts so i'm gonna sell them kind of one at a time and when they sell out they sell out and I'll do a different design. So, you know, it'll be like, you know, you can collect all the NC Picker shirts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so I have orders. I just got off an interesting phone call, which we'll talk about in a minute. And um, this episode should go live Friday, I think, of this week. And of course, I have nine, I, nine or ten eBay orders because I turned on promoted listings, which is frustrating. Like, I even turned off my sale and just left on promoted. I was doing 10% off, right? I killed that and just turned on promoted and I'm selling more even though my prices are higher so I don't know it's so frustrating that you have to do promoted you don't have to I said that to Kevin and he got mad Kevin the Commonwealth picker because he seems to sell no matter what but I guess okay so I guess let's be real you don't have to do promoted I feel like I have to do promoted because my store is like it's like sleeping I was just so unactive for two three months as I was moving, that my store is just like in sleep mode. And I just need to wake it up. So we're continuing to list. Again, that is the Royal Wii, Tina. That's like a, a weird, dumb dad joke, the Royal Wii. As in like, the queen will say, we, I don't even know. She will do something, but then she just like tells people to do it and they do it for her. I get all these weird references from my parents. Like today in a NC Picker video, I said, pot calling the kettle black which is like, and I started to think about it, I'm like, so what does that even mean? It's like, okay, so the pot, I guess, is inherently a black cast iron pot in this scenario, and it's calling the kettle black cast iron. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I sold these two O snaps to two different people, so that's pretty good, and they sold for, what did they sell for? Actually sold for $26.99 a piece because they were on promo when they sold a day or two ago. But yeah, so I have t-shirts. There's a link down below if you want to get a t-shirt, an NC Picker t-shirt, limited edition. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. Really crazy how they got all these colors. When I first got this design done, I was talking to Kevin and to my friend uh, Min, who works at the company I work at. Min does t-shirts like he makes them. And Kevin is the Commonwealth Picker. He, you know, buys and sells tons of t-shirts. Both said that there's way too many colors on this design to ever be done for a reasonable price but i'm happy to say that while not cheap i can actually sell them for a reasonable price 20 bucks for the you know uh small through large or small through extra large maybe and then it goes up a little for larger sizes uh all the way up to 25 dollars and 5xl uh, and i think that's just because it's more material but that's pretty reasonable for a shirt with this many colors and all this stuff going on 20 bucks is not bad I sold this. Uh, this is a, like a heffalump, I think, maybe, from Winnie the Pooh. I don't know. Let me look what it says. Vintage 1984 Wuzzle. A Wuzzle Hoppo Thomas plush. Hippo Bunny. <laughs> sold it for $22.50. And I got that at a yard sale with like some popples and things like that. And I think I paid $0.50. Cents. I think she wanted $0.50 cents a plush, but I ended up paying a dollar plush. Um, 
I don't remember why. I was listening, guys. Tina, Tina just walked in and interrupted the video, and she said she was listening. Here, let's look at her through the crack. <laughs> <laughs> what are you listening? Games. Video games? Okay. I listed some stuffed animals. Okay. Yeah. Look at her NC Picker shirt. Can you see it? Hold on, I don't know if they can see it. <laughs> I could just show them it. She's wearing an NC Picker shirt, too. I asked my son if he wanted one. He's like, no, Dad. I don't want an NC Picker shirt. There's the NC. A Squishmallow. Hi, Callie. So we've got t-shirts, guys. NC Picker t-shirts. Moving on past that, though. I got the quote from my gutter. And, okay, so my dad had this friend, and my dad was telling me these really great prices. Like, ah, I think it's only going to be like $1,000 to get a whole new super gutter. And blah, 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 blah. And all you guys in the comments said, no way, it's going to be way more than that. And I was like, well, you know, it's it's a friend of my dad's, so he's probably planning on giving a deal or something. And that's why my dad's saying such a low price. Well, his friend didn't respond for like four weeks. He's just like, we reached out to him. He said he'd come by. He never came by. He said give us a quote. He never gave us a quote. So, you know, you get what you pay for. So I call up another guy and... That guy comes right out, he gives me a quote, but the quote is so high. Ugh. All right, so, and just so you have some context, if you're new here, I have an issue with my new house. I just got this house. It's not brand new. Not a brand new house. It's from the 80s or 70s or something. But I got this house, and something I didn't know when I bought it was that it has a serious issue with the gutters where they're flooding and overflowing, flooding my pool deck, and then it's like getting into my house and all that other stuff every time there's a bad rain. And so I'm trying to get someone to fix the gutters. And the quote came back and the price for the new gutter is $4,100. So, yikes. Me and my dad are going to try to find a way to like, you know, band-aid it instead of just replacing it because it's so much money. Uh, this is what sold. It's a wine cooler slash heater from Wearing Pro. That sold once before a few months ago and the person canceled the order as it was in transit and so i was able to get it to come back but now it's sold again so 17 dollars and nine cents barely worth the time guys for 17 bucks but yeah four thousand one hundred dollars i don't even know i don't want to spend that much on a gutter and you know what it's not even that okay so the bigger problem i had with this guy was that he didn't want to replace the gutters where it wraps around the corner he's like oh that would be more expensive and harder and you don't really need that. And I'm like, you know, I think if I ever was to do this, I would want to replace the whole thing so that I can be sure there's not going to be any issues. So needless to say, first thing, first things first, we are going to reach back out to my dad's friend who never responded because that's kind of still up in the air and see if we can get him to respond, see if we can get him to come out and check it out. You know, anything along those lines. Sorry for the extreme close up. I'm trying to get something out of this bin. I think this is it. Ah, Lulu Row sale, guys. A Lulu Row sale. These are not a bolo. Lulu Row does not sell well. I went to a yard sale last year and I bought her whole collection for like $4 a piece. And I've been selling them for $7.99 a piece ever since. So that's a skirt with the tag. And actually, I think that one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. You know, I have a little bit of an issue. Like, I always have to make an event out of everything. There's something wrong with me. Like, my mom was like that too, or is like that. You, you know my mom. You see her on my picking video. She's just like me. We're both kind of out of control over the top with like event planning and stuff. I sold the Muppet Show DVD and that sold for $4.27 and I had to answer multiple questions to lock that sale in for $4.27. So anyways, I mean I'm glad it sold but yeah it's funny how like the lowest dollar sales have the biggest questions. So when I was a kid they literally would do field trips to my house. I think I've said this before. They would do field trips to our house. My mom would host a field trip to our house so that they could all see the pets. And she had a big farm. They called it the mini farm in the backyard where there was goats and sheep and ducks and geese and chickens. And I used to have to go down there and collect the eggs and clean up the chicken coop. That was like just a Saturday chore for me was cleaning the chicken coop, which has like, really makes me think my kids are the most spoiled kids in the world. They've never had to go out there and clean up a chicken coop, get attacked by a rooster while shoveling chicken poop off the floor. That's my childhood. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> we would, that's how like, and then like, oh man, I remember New Year's, like we would have a hundred people over the house and we'd do like sledding and there'd be a, a bonfire and like everyone would come and bring food like a la carte, no, not a la carte, la potluck, potluck. So anyways, my mom always did things big and crazy and so I'm struggling with the same thing. 
I've gotten it for, from her, I've inherited it from her. And I sold a KISS CD, Smashes, Trashes, Podcasts. Uh, and this sold for $4.27. A lot of $4 sales. I usually don't list anything below $4.99. If it's going to be that cheap, I usually donate it, give it away, put it on whatnot for a dollar. But um, these were $5 with a 10% discount and maybe even promoted on top of that. So I'm like not making any money on those things. It's pretty depressing. Oh, but hey, you know what? That's fine because this was to a fan or Kevin says not to call you fans. A viewer. Hello, viewer. Hey, just wanted to let you know. I watch your videos all the time. You you are my and my wife's favorite reseller. I'm not one of the people that ask for things. Uh-oh. But <laughs> what are we going to ask for, Cody? Hold on. Let me pull it up because it's like shrunk. It says see more. But is there any way you can give my eBay store a shout out? I'm a new reseller and I want to make a full-time job. Like most other people, thank you for the videos and shout out if you decide to do it. eBay store is Toxic Investments. Okay, guys. So Toxic... Toxic... Words are hard. Toxic Investments on eBay... Let's see what Cody's selling. I'm going to go over to his store. How do I do this? Okay, so I'm trying to find his store. I don't know how to search for a store. But this article came up on this website called My Wife Quit Her Job. And the headline is, Why You Should Never Start an eBay Store. And it says, If you want to build a profitable e-commerce business that stands the test of time, you need to register your own domain and start your own website. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, buy his course. Only six payments. Okay, so he goes on to say eBay doesn't have your interests in mind. Yeah, that's kind of probably true. eBay does seller fees. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so this is all a pitch of like starting your own website to sell things. But I mean, I feel like I haven't read the whole thing, but I feel like you probably should mention the fact that eBay brings a bunch of traffic to your items. Whereas if you just start a store and say I have a store, no one's going to go to your site. Anyways, what was I doing? I don't know how to find it. <laughs> I don't know how to find it. How do you find someone's store? Maybe I just click on his name. I don't know. I don't know how to find it. If you guys know, let me know. But uh, if you know how to find a store, Toxic Investments, I feel like I should figure that out. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe Cody doesn't, um, doesn't actually pay for a true store. And maybe you can't find it. Anyways, sorry guys. <laughs> a little bit of a sidetrack. Anyways, let's pull our next order from FL44. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Yes, what was I talking about now? Oh, man, my brain. Oh, I was talking about the gutters for a little bit. Let's not talk about them anymore. It's depressed me. Uh, I also, we had an issue where our AC stopped working yesterday. It's just typical, like, you know, typical home ownership. Just things break constantly. Luckily, my wife's... Nope, not my wife's. <laughs> my sister's ex-husband is a AC guy, HVAC guy. And he lives like maybe two minutes from me. And he came over, he showed me what the problem was, and it's a $20 fix. You know, I threw him a little cash for coming over and taking care of it for me, but easy peasy. I don't need to replace the AC unit. So Winnie the Pooh approves this message. Winnie the Pooh sold for 20 bucks. Best sale of the day, guys. Look at that, Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, just dropped this. Um, and you know, you're all skipping the plush bins. And then when I meet people, they say, oh, Dave, cause of you, I bought a plush and plushes are dumb. But here I am selling them. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about my over planning for events. So I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this before. I we're doing like a live trash to catch meetup in Vegas. And at that meetup, we're going we're, it's at Bahama Breeze, me and Carrie, American Arbitrage. We're basically paying for 30 people to eat now because I added some people to the reservation. Those 30 people do include me and my wife and him and his common law wife. So it's really 26 people. It filled up last week. One person dropped out today. So when this goes live, if you're in the Vegas area and you want to attend that, it's possible you can get that last ticket if it hasn't sold out. I mean, it's free. So I say sold out, but it's a free thing that sold out. Um, on top of that though, because I'm kind of a psychopath, I decided it would be also awesome to not only do the meal thing, but also to try to record a podcast live with an audience where the audience can ask questions like verbally, right? You know, so you do a live on YouTube and people type their questions. What if you could actually verbally ask a question and me and Carrie could answer the question? Now, I mean, as far as whether or not our answers will be good or right or proper, yeah, that's a whole nother question. But yeah, I sold this Albert Einstein. I just picked this up in my video from today, I think, and it sold for 25 bucks, 25.99 plus shipping. 
going to California to Vincent. Maybe a viewer, maybe he saw it in the video and that's what he decided to buy it for. It's a pretty cool thing though. So anyways, I decided to rent a venue in Vegas for Saturday the 30th afternoon so people could come to a live recording of a Trash to Cash podcast. I think that's kind of cool. And it's free again. You know, it's, I can't always do everything for free, but I, you know, this time I've decided to kind of do a lot of this for free. All of it for free, really. Uh, because I don't think, like, anyone's going to come if I don't do it for free. Let's be real. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it should be fun if you live in that area. I'll put a link down below if you want to sign up to come. And, uh, yeah, be a part of a podcast. Maybe even have your voice on the podcast. That'd be kind of cool, right? I got a lot going on today. And, and, okay, so here's another thing. I just got off the phone with, uh, what's the name of this company? One of you guys reached out to me on Instagram. And you told me to check out Pop Shop. Is that what it's called? Pop Shop Live. It's, it's basically like Whatnot. It's a live auction site. There it is at the bottom bottom corner there, the green lightning bolt. Um, it's like Whatnot. You do like quick 30 second, one minute auctions. And you know, it's, it's an alternative to Whatnot. There's been a lot of talk about Whatnot. Some people don't like Whatnot. Some people do like Whatnot. I think Whatnot's fun because there's like a sense of community. It's a fun community sale type of thing. It's instantaneous. You know, you pack orders the next day, you send them out, you give your stickers. It's cool, right? And so, but there's never just one dog in the race, right? So Pop Shop Live, one of my viewers reached out to me on Instagram, one of you guys, told me, hey, check out Pop Shop Live, gave me his referral code. So I went and used his referral code, signed up, and, you know, reached out to them. I said I wanted to sell. I don't know if they instantly approve sellers or anything like that, but, um, you know, I gave them my story, what I do, stuff like that. And they, you know, did talk to me and have approved me to sell, approved for me to sell. They said, though, that if we have 30 people sign up through my link before my first auction, and it's free to sign up, then they'll do a $100 giveaway during my first auction. So, like, I don't know if that means a $100 gift card or whatever. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. So I think I'm going to try it next week, maybe next Wednesday. I'll try to do a whatnot this week. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Might do a last minute whatnot tomorrow, and it'll already be over by the time this video airs. But I think next week, I might try to do a Pop Shop live stream and sell on there. It's a cool new app. I want to try it. I mean, I haven't even bought anything on there yet, so I'm totally fresh on it. I mean, it could suck. But hey, I mean, it'd be a train wreck. You can come watch. So if you want, I'll put my link in my referral code. If you use that, I don't know if any of us get anything out of it other than this chance to have the, um, the $100 gift card. And they said, I think if like 60 people sign up or something like that, then you do a $100 gift card and free shipping on the first auction. So any anything you buy on the first auction, you'll get free shipping if we get enough people to sign up. So it could be fun. If you do like Whatnot and you want to check out something new, maybe you, so I know a lot of people were trying to become a seller on Whatnot. If you didn't get approved, then maybe Pop Shop would approve you, right? And maybe it's an alternative way to sell in a Whatnot-like environment. I can't guarantee that, but... I'm just saying it's possible. It's possible, so something to consider. And uh, I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. I mean, my life is hectic right now. I'll tell you that. I'm trying to edit footage from like the flea market and all this. And actually, I had a really exciting bit of news come across the wire this morning that I didn't realize at all that has like taken a huge weight off my shoulders because I'm trying to get enough footage so that I can have NC picker videos. I know I'm not gonna have constant NC flipper videos, but NC picker videos I'm hoping to have through my whole trip to Vegas, which is two weeks. On the flipper videos, these this channel will probably only have two a week, if we're lucky, two videos a week. I'm sorry. Um, absence makes the heart grow fonder, guys. So we'll still get, I'm confident we can do one video a week. I'm hoping for two a week. Three a week is probably a pipe dream at this point. Maybe if I had more sales coming in, I just don't have enough sales to pull more than two or three times a week right now. And I also don't have time to list. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just giving you the true nature of things. I may not be able to do three flipper videos a week while I'm in Vegas, but I should be able to do two. But I do think I'm gonna be able to do three picker videos a week because Friday, I have off. Apparently, today, this should be live Friday, today, I have a holiday at work. I don't have to work, so I might go to, I don't even know, some flea market. Apparently, Jacksonville has three flea markets. So I might go up to Jacksonville and do like an all day flea market scenario. I don't know. Okay, so quick interruption to this episode. I announced my shirt on Instagram, on my Instagram stories that there's now a NC Picker store shirt. And we got some sales. So I figured we could look at them on this episode. So what sold? And I sold some shirts. I and mean, we're not gonna do this every time, but I think it is kind of cool. My first shirt sold. We sold four of them. Zachary, Kim, Adam the Pittsburgh Picker, and Colin, my friend from work. <laughs> so thank you, Colin. That's cool. I don't think he watches my, my channel, but I think he's probably just trying to support me. So Zachary, Adam, and Kim, fellow resellers, 
thank you very much. You're the inaugural NC Picker shirt wearers. So I look forward to seeing your post on Instagram rocking your new shirt. Should be fun. Either way, thank you guys for coming. We're going to end it here. Don't forget to buy your NC Picker t-shirt. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and we will see you next time. Peace out.